Soybean channel. My name is Sharon and today we have another couch upholstery, re-upholstery video. My last one was maybe one to two years ago and it was the boucle couch, little love booth type cedar. I've since moved to a larger place so I picked up another second hand vintage couch. I'm pretty sure this one is from the 60s or 70s. It's already gone through one reupholster but it's been a few years since it's had that apparently and I would now love to make it my own and reupholster it again. So I'm super excited to show you what it looks like. So let's go have a look now. So this is what the section looks like. It's actually pretty low rise, only about 40 centimeters off the floor and all of the pieces come apart so you can rearrange them to how you like, which is a part that I really liked about this couch. If you're wondering what happened to the Google couch, it's still here in perfect condition, except Maple has claimed it for her own. So she's been digging it up a little bit. It's been holding up. Here are the pile of cushions. That also came with it, but I just set it aside for now. And they will also be re-upholstered. Well, not re-upholstered, but you know, redone, I guess. I'm sure you will recognize this mirror, which was also one of the projects on my channel. Because I wasn't exactly sure how much fabric I would need for this project. I think I have about 10 to 12 meters, maybe even 14. I can't remember because I got it a few months back. I have this really pretty dusty pink upholstery velvet fabric and I'm so excited to use this but I just thought I'd have extra because I just don't know what's gonna happen in the future maybe I'll get like a tear somewhere and I'll randomly need this fabric again luckily I would have some in my stash because I got myself extra also I have a new puppy I'm praying that she doesn't rip it up but there is always a chance and I'm going to be redoing the cushions as well. So hopefully this is enough and extra. This fabric is a little bit thinner than I had hoped, but I feel like it's still pretty sturdy. So I'm hoping, you know, nothing goes wrong with it, but it is a cute color. So I'm very excited. I'm wondering how long this project is actually going to take me because, you know, on camera, everything's sped up and I'm very ambitious. So I want to do it in a day, but a five piece, sectional couch. I'm not sure if I can do in a day. Hello, Maple. 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 <laughs> it's also good to see things in perspective. This is what I look like in relation to one of the seats. So funny, so funny. Let's start taking this apart. So I'm hoping it's pretty straightforward and I can just copy the existing pattern. There's also a zip on the bottom, which I want to reuse. I think I have to learn how to install. But I'm thinking it won't be too hard if I just copy exactly what's happening here. There's these like back cushions and then there's the seat cushions. And then there are these boards that go on each side of the couch and these back frames as well. Maple, come off, come off, come No, so the first thing I'm going to do is unzip this. Okay, you are banned from the sewing room. So the foam is in perfect condition and I don't think I have to do anything to that. I think the most time consuming thing is gonna be ripping the zipper out of the existing one because I'm not gonna buy new zippers for this. This video took me a while to finish so <laughs> I'm commentating on this like months after I started this couch and you can actually see the season changing through what I'm wearing at home plus I can definitely see how much maple grew throughout this time. Let me know if you can tell too. But yeah this ended up being so much more labor than I had initially signed up for but I just tried to enjoy the process and it ended up being pretty fun. I made sure to carefully unpick one of each of the cushion templates so for example I just did that once for one of the seats and copied that over five times and so on. I'll say that one of the things that made this couch 
much more challenging than the boucle one i think was the fact that last time i used a knit fabric for that whereas this one was woven and there was just less room for error which was a bit scary but in the end i think following the template just worked out fine here's the zipper it doesn't match the pink fabric but i think it's okay because you can't see it i'm also trying to redo my sewing room at the moment and i have this custom neon light which is probably one of the best things i've bought this year but yes lots to do still for my room makeover in fact i've hardly started at this point in time anyway back to the couch all i did was copy the way that the covers were constructed originally and in theory this should have been like the easiest thing ever but i will say it was a little challenging doing the corners and sometimes things didn't match up perfectly and i had to redo it a few times now for the moment of truth putting the new covers back on the foam please excuse the exposure going crazy from the sun but i was really nervous about them and not fitting properly but it actually fit very well one tip i have in with working with this non-stretch fabric is making the covers like the tiniest bit smaller than you think they need to be because they need to fit snug the foam will compress a bit but you want the covers to be taut and if they're too big they're gonna wrinkle a little and it won't look as nice there were five seater cushions and they actually took me like two full days to do which is very off my expectation of trying to do the entire couch in a single day usually always like that and i always overestimate how much i can do now i'm up to the back seater cushions and there's four of these that look the same and then there's one corner piece so i'm gonna try and do those today but because my expectations are more in check now Maybe I'll get through the four. Maybe I'll only do three today. I'm not really sure. The mess from this project was a little bit crazy. The original covers shed so much fluff for some reason. So the good thing about the new fabric was that it had little to no shed. Okay, this corner back cushion was probably the most satisfying cover to do out of all of them. These are down feather cushions, but I wasn't a fan of how flat they were, so I compressed the feather a little bit and made them into smaller rectangular cushions. I like that these can double as pillows. That was all the covers that I needed to do and now I had to go onto the frame part which made me quite nervous but this couch is like the easiest thing to disassemble. You can see I already did one sideboard as a test and I'll take you through the process of how I did it. So I just had to unscrew these nuts that were keeping the board attached to the steel frame and the boards just popped right off. Also, I wish I had ordered some proper upholstery tools before starting the project, but with some struggle, I was able to remove the existing staples from the boards with tools I had at home, like some pliers, but some of the staples had to stay in the board because I just couldn't get them all out. Excuse me, Maple. Excuse me, can I do some work? Excuse me. The longest part was getting the staples off for sure, but then because these bottom boards didn't require you to sew up any fitted covers and you could just cut a piece out of the fabric, it was really easy. My staple gun though wasn't heavy duty enough for this project, which made my life unnecessarily harder, but you know what, it still did the job. The black fabric I used is just some Enviro cloth. Then it was time to do the biggest back boards, which was a bit scary for me from the start of this project because I just didn't know what to expect. But once I got into it, it was pretty simple. In fact, it was easier than the cushions. For these, I unpicked again and transferred over the pattern to my pink fabric and sewed it up. It fit really well and the bottom didn't need to be perfect as it was another staple job. And then I put the couch back together and this was the process I followed for the whole couch. 
I put off filming the reveal for so long because I felt my living room was just always messy from maple stuff and also I haven't decorated fully so that was just really demotivating but at some point I've just got to finish this off you know so this is randomly turning into like a living room slash couch cleaning video. I got influenced to buy some pet hair scraping thing and it really works well on the rug and maple doesn't shed that much compared to some breeds but there is still hair everywhere all the time and I just feel like it's never clean but it's okay because it's what I signed up for. So all of the covers can actually be taken off and thrown into the washing machine oh, except for the boards. but. Yeah, the covers can be taken off and I have washed them before and they don't shrink or anything so that's great and it makes it really handy especially with a pet. And in between washes because I can't wash the covers all the time I just get a towel just wet with some water and scrub the surface of the fabric and I find this works really well. The couch does pick up quite a bit of dirt inevitably because maple goes outside and stuff but I find it comes off pretty easily with this method. And I'd also say this fabric is quite strong because I've had these covers for a few months now and Maple always tries to dig into the couch to hide her treats, but so far no rips or tears. I think the largest project I've done to date just in terms of sheer size but I've learned so much in the process and it's always been my dream to own a pink couch since I was younger so it is a dream come true as well. You can really tell the seasonal change with the uh, with the start of the Christmas decorations coming in. And look, my living room is just super lived in at the moment and not picture perfect, but that's okay because it's real life and I'm still working on decorating even though it's been a few months since I've moved in. Like there's a giant blanket that permanently lives on the couch and I don't have a pretty concoction of decorative throws and pillows, but this is just what it is at the moment. And I hope I can get some time to start decorating properly soon. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you very soon in the next one.